Lee Smith. And Jane Johnston from Blood and Iron Martial Arts. Today we are reviewing the Absolute Force Gorget. We're kind of doing it as a comparison to the Destroyer Mods video, just because we felt like it was worth your time to do that kind of thing. First impressions, what do you got? So, my first impression as Gorget when I got it was one, it was hard to break in. Two, it choked the hell out of me. I mean, it drove into my jaw connector. It was exceptionally uncomfortable. Three, it was necessary, necessary gear. Yeah, so obviously Gorgets are pretty important. The one thing I like about this is that it's super cheap. It's $25 USD through Purple Heart, which is a great price if you're looking to get into HEMA. So in terms of that, it's really good. First time I put it on, again, not the most comfortable thing in the world. And, you know, it does the job. It protects, right? But Yep. Yeah. So I, I broke this one in um, a while ago. I mean, it never really feels like it's broken in, but... Before it was pretty stiff. Like, I mean, it took me about six weeks of constant use to kind of get it so it was flexible enough to be as comfortable as it ever was. Um, it really dug into my jaw connector. I've had bruising up here. Can't see under the beard, but I mean, trust me. I had bruising up here on my neck from uh, trip fighting hard in it. But honestly, like, I mean, it's never really was broken in. But after six weeks, and this is as good as it gets. It's now a loner. Lives in the loner bin, totally safe for students, but man, yeah. You're going to notice Lee is very passionate about this particular piece of gear. Ready for the next section? Things we like. Obviously, it's super cheap. It's lightweight. It is decent protection. It will protect you. It's a, It's got nice, thick kind of padding, which kind of ties back into the break-in thing where it makes it a little bit harder, but it is thick enough to be safe. It's totally safe for students. I mean, for someone who runs their own club, I'd buy like 10 of these. It'd be great for our students to wear because... At 100% going to be safe and really good for what it, for that portion. That being said, things I like, I mean, it's been going strong for a long time and I mean, it doesn't show any wear for placement. Like I don't really need to replace it. So I mean, it's durable and I do like that and it's cheap. And I like that too. All right. So things I see changed. A material that wicks a little better. I'll be absolutely honest with you. This doesn't dry out very well. And uh, after your training and you put it on the next day and it's hot and sweaty, it's still swampy. really swampy, it's yuck. Like, yuck. <laughs> I can't, there's no other word, yuck. Tell me how you really feel about how yuck it is. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anything else? <laughs> um, I'd like to see it offered in like like a man's neck size because like this is like where it has to be worn on me. And it really, like, it falls off in tournaments and all sorts of stuff. Again, safe for students. Very important to put that on there. But for a competitor like myself, I mean, I really... Yeah, so the big things for me are size because, A, they make two sizes. They make a medium and they make a large. The large doesn't fit people like Lee and the medium doesn't fit people like me. So I would like to see a little bit more range in those sizes just to cover pretty much everybody. That being said, the other thing is the Velcro. It's... The gorget itself is pretty durable. The Velcro tends to wear pretty fast, which makes it fall off. We've had lots of fighters in tournaments just, there it goes. So that kind of sucks. Or I've taken this best <laughs> jacket in the middle of the tournament and try to fish it out. Yeah, yeah. that kind of sucks too. So I'd like to see better sizing. I'd like to see it a little bit more comfortable, even just like something changed in here to make it dig in a little bit less. Of the neck, but, yeah. Yeah. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but... I feel like we're really stressing the safety. I think we don't like this, so we're really just stressing the safety here. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> honestly, it would be nice if it wasn't fetish gear. Ooh, did I say that Oh, a man. <laughs> okay, so overall, it's a decent gorget. It does the job, but we do want to do a little bit of a comparison to the Destroyer Mods video that uh, we did. Hold on a second. It's a decent gorget for having in your school or in your loner gear in your club. That's what it's a decent gorget for. It works. It That's does. what matters. Yeah. But when you compare it to something like the Destroyer Mods, which is just way more comfortable, way more breathable, the Velcro is way better. Like on these guys, it's just this little patch, and it gets really, really run down really fast. It gets everything caught in it, and then it just starts falling off. The Destroyer Mods Velcro is way more sturdy, and it's also just like, it's not going to get as much stuff caught in it just because of the way it's made. So I definitely prefer that too. Um, uh, there's, it's night and day. Um, yeah. I would take it. The, the Destroyer's mod, like Destroyer mods, Gorget is far superior to this. Well, you just don't feel like you're it, wearing it a sure Gorget. It costs forty-five versus twenty-five, but you know what? What's twenty bucks? Is twenty bucks worth not having like your? I mean, when you're your dropping a grand boost? on kit anyway, like an extra twenty bucks. So don't go to Starbucks four times. 
Pretty much, yeah. Okay, so let's rate this puppy now. Okay, so I'm going to rate it two separate times for myself here. Okay, go for it. As a competitor and someone who has a thick neck, it gets a double thumb down for me <laughs> because honestly, I feel like I'm choked every time well, I wear it. it's not wearable for you. It, really. uh, but it's, it was necessary while yeah. I was in tournament, right? You can't really go to a tournament and not wear something as neck protection. As a business owner, though, I will give it one thumb up <laughs> because it's cheap and it's safe to wear for my students. And that is the most important thing as a person who runs their own school. Yeah, because I don't have this passionate dislike because I haven't worn it as much as other people have, I'm giving it a straight meh because it's decent, it does the job, it is safe, but there are so many things that could be better about it. So that's where I'm at with it. That is the AF Gorget. We're going to recommend you get yeah. a Destroyer Mods yeah, instead. Yeah, buy a DM. <laughs> Made for fighters, by fighters. But if you need something, this is also a good option. If you can't afford the Destroyer Mods and really love your Starbucks. <laughs> That star Unicorn fraps, guys. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. It looks gross. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, if you've got anything else you want us to review, make sure you let us know in the comments. Otherwise, bye bye now.